Hi, this is Godzilla Medicine PS4 and PS5 and Medic Maniac YouTube. So here I am at Jameson Memorial in Elite Dangerous and I'm in my Crate Phantom. My Crate Phantom is my explorer ship. And some people uh, have a big jump distance on their explorers and you know they kind of do if not complete min max builds for jump distance then they you know certainly put emphasis on the jump distance um i don't see building my explorer that way i'll show you what i've done with it So if we go to outfitting first of all, uh, you can see there down the bottom the jump distance that I have it at at the moment, which is uh, thirty point six nine light years, and you know unladen thirty three point nine five. So that will change when I bother getting. <laughs> The Guardian uh, Frameshift Drive Booster. I don't have that fitted just yet. I do carry hard points. Two burst laser, two uh, multi cannon, because I never know what's out there and you know what I'm going to encounter. Utility mounts. Um, I've got a heat sink, a chaff, a point defense, and a shield booster. For my core internal, And for my optional internal, at the moment I have uh, a fuel scoop, fuel maintenance unit, shield generator, fuel tank, a hull reinforcement package, a module reinforcement package, another hull reinforcement package, planetary hangar, scarab, detail surface scanner and planetary approach three obviously for the landing on planets now my second hull reinforcement package um you know this setup will probably change or will change when i get a freight uh, guardian frame shift drive booster But at the moment, that, that's how it stands. So I shall show you what I did with engineering so far with the engineers that I have um, unlocked for my thrusters. I got clean drive tuning and I had them double braced for survivability. For my shield generator, I had it thermal resistant shields and stripped down. Sensors, lightweight scanner, shield booster, resistance augmented shield booster and double braced. Power distributor, charged enhanced power distributor, and stripped down. My frame shift drive increased FSD range on double braced. Burst laser, lightweight mount, and double braced. And the same for the other burst laser. The multi cannon. 
lightweight mount and double brace. And the same for the other multi cannon. The heat sink miscellaneous lightweight chaff launcher the same point defense the same power plant overcharged and stripped down detail surface scanner expanded probe scanning radius I believe that's that. Yep, that's that so far. So that's what I did with it. And the reason that I've done that is because um, when you're out in the black, you might not get a chance to go to um, a place to carry out maintenance on your your explorer ship you might, might be out there for quite some time with the lower jump distance I've taken this to Beagle Point um, uh, there's a separate video on my channel where I show you know getting to Beagle Point and I did it in this great phantom with a less jump distance than 30 light years because I had um, a different build with a wake scanner that I you know, decided I don't, I don't need that, so I've taken it off uh, and rejigged the build and stuff now. But when I went to Beagle Point, it had the cargo rack and a wake scanner as well, and obviously I've rejigged it and you know uh, engineered a few bits and bobs uh, to what I'm showing you right now. But it was robust enough to get there and back, and robust enough to you know be able to um go on quite a quite a long adventure because not only did I go to Beagle Point but I went to Colonia for went through a few nebulas to Colonia and then I went to through the um you know Sagittarius A and through a few nebulas and then I went onto the outer arm and round to Beagle Point and then coming back I visited a few nebulas and stuff and you know um, I had quite the journey I did and it was robust enough I think there was um, obviously you know at Sagittarius A there's a station uh, to repair and what have you and when I got to Beagle Point there was um, somebody had got a fleet carrier there and I repaired there as well and um, yeah you know, it was robust enough to do that. I did some planetary landings and things like that. But, you know, I didn't feel that I wanted massive jump distance and fragile ship. I wanted a ship that can go out there in the black for quite a while. And you can, you know, be secure in the knowledge that it's got shields and... You know, you're equipped with weapons should you need anything at all. Um, it's not a fighting ship, but, you know, you never know what's out there. What you're going to run into. I didn't feel the need for the wake scanner because I just found I didn't use it. And I didn't feel the need to put a Xeno scanner on it because I think that if I build an anti or when I finalise my anti Xeno uh, ship which is my Type 10 Defender, then, you know, that will have uh, a Xeno scanner on it instead. So for the, you know, exploration, um, possibly I'll visit Guardian sites in it, whatever, you know, but for exploration, I just wanted something robust. So this is not, I'm not showing this build to say, you know, this is the ideal exploration ship. This is my take my own take on the exploration ship for what I wanted and I wanted something robust you know that will get me there and get me back and you know I, w I won't be able to do you know 60 odd 70 light year jumps in it now but I will be able to be confident uh, that I can stay out in the black 
for quite some time and you know my ship will be equipped um, and also the what I did find carrying the extra fuel tank was I went through stretches in the outer arm of the galaxy without fuel stars and I was glad I took the extra fuel tank because I needed it you know sometimes there would I went through quite a stretch before a, another fuel star so I really did need the extra fuel tank um, and I'm glad I took it to be honest uh, so for what I wanted and how I found exploration you know that's my take on it for for me and I'm quite happy with that so I thought I'd show you you know you don't have to build an exploration ship with a massive jump distance you can if you want there's plenty of videos out there um, but this is a more robust exploration ship obviously with weapons on it so that that's I thought I'd show you that the other thing I thought I'd show you in this video and obviously I'm on PlayStation 4 is I, I applied for a squadron and um, it just didn't get back to me I'm a solo player uh, pretty much well I am a solo player and I set up my own uh, squadron because obviously I didn't get a reply and I couldn't find a squadron really for what I wanted to do I like to play Elite Dangerous and I like to try everything um, there's a lot in this game I haven't tried, um, but I do exploring. I'm obviously I showed you my uh, Alliance Chief in a bit ago, and I am doing combat um, and getting my combat rank up. I I've done trading and stuff like that, um, but obviously with Elite Dangerous, what I find is there's so much to do and so much to get into. Like power play, I don't understand power play but I'd like to um, you know lot, lots of things I haven't done any Xeno uh, hunting or anything but I'd like to you know I'd like to try everything in Elite Dangerous but like I say I play solo and you know um, I do play other games but I always play Elite at some point you know I'll, I'll always come back to Elite Dangerous to play it because it is my favorite game so I just thought I'd show you my uh, squadron because you know if, if you're on PlayStation 4 and you do like solo play and you do like to do things um, I'm with Felicia Winters uh, with the Federation and I'll be trying to support that um, I will hopefully have a home system linked to this at some point but I've, I've got lots of things to do at the moment uh, for showing my engineers at the moment I've uh, I've got to go to Colonia so I'll be going to Colonia at some point very soon to try these um, unlock these and you know do things with these engineers here so that's on my to-do list um, but yeah I just thought I'd show my Crate Phantom and my squadron so whatever you're doing take care